I'm so elated and excited and um, yeah, we really can't believe that we've been privileged to be able to have another child. Mm. So it's just like... I'm just so glad oh. it's out because, of course, we knew. And just to <laughs> no, have you this lot did, I didn't. I because no. thought you oh, told. Star. Oh, no, don't Carol, start. I forgot who I told. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, who knows this? <laughs> and I kept just doing this weird nod to people, like... <laughs> As if, like, you know, right? Yeah, and we've had this situation where sometimes we're on the show and I can see her turning and I think, it's popping, it's oh, popping, but there's no way to say, I can't turn around. Because you but just no, really wanted to keep it for you But and now Jack, you can, I can see it now. Mm. Can you? I never oh, noticed before. I thought I was still doing quite well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see it now because you're obviously, like, you know, letting it go. And, and, and you can... <laughs> Carol, shut up. And you are going to put your foot in it every single yeah, week. I'm shut going up. Up. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm actually really breathing in right now. Oh. I think there's definitely... It's obvious that people do these sort of campaigns as a PR stunt sure. to get lots of attention, but I actually think, well, good. This is, this is the type of PR that we want from these companies. It's a shame it's taken until 2019 to see, you know, one of the most relatable brands for mums become... show us some relatable images to look at. But... But they're doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. happening and it's really exciting. It's so, I think it's a breath of fresh air. I almost sigh a, a relief um, when I see a stretch mark or a, a bump when you've given birth but you still have your bump because that actually happens. You don't just go back to nothing. What about your third grandchild? Well, you, you, Stacey's third baby on the yeah. way. Yeah, well, I, I'm quite excited actually just to see what the baby looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not excited about the extra babysitting, are you? No, right? not the extra babysitting, <laughs> but I'm quite intrigued to see what baby Stacey and Joe have made together. I think that's going to be really, really... <laughs> <laughs> really cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be oh, another, no. another baby to I'm add to... Not. I mean, I've got five already. To your collection, so yeah. I always get annoyed that I try and do things, you know, I try to not bottle things up, but then I try to let things go because everyone's got an opinion on what you should be doing yeah. for your perfect relationship. Mm. So now I just do what works for me, which is... Which is? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and does it work for him, Stacey? Well... <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> I like to write down... OK, so I've been in relationships... No, wait. <laughs> Bear with it's me. bad. It's bad. <laughs> I've been in relationships before where I've been told what has happened and, it, and I've been convinced myself that that's not the way that it went, but had no proof. Yeah. So now I like to just write it down. If, I, if something's bothered me or upset me or some an yeah. event has taken place in which I feel I might want to refer to at some point in the near future... <laughs> I think I you're wise. You're a wise down. woman. And not to... You date it? Yeah, well, I'll write, like, today, Tuesday. <laughs> so that's your, like, your no, ammunition store? No, no, not necessarily. You go back to it. Sometimes I will use it if I need to defend myself in a case <laughs> yes. that's happening. Or prove you're right. Exactly. Yeah. Or, but most of the time, it's just to clarify for me that I'm not going mad. Yeah. Sometimes you're in, in the heat of a relationship yeah. and you're having an argument over something that you really believe happened but they're convincing you it didn't. Yeah. And well, you're like, well, let me just check my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I think that's and really good. good. I always said when I took the boys out of school, it, school wasn't working for the, them at that time. There are plenty of children who I think really benefit from the school system and it can be incredible for lots and lots of children but for some it just doesn't work and, and it isn't a one-size-fits-all. I fits think this all. is the growth of the Me Too parents taking over and parents thinking that they know better than the schools in, and parents know, knowing better they, than experts in so many ways. How can you say that you, you would rather your child be at a failing school or a school that isn't doing them, uh, yes. giving them the education that they deserve? The only way that school will improve is if all the parents get together and all the parents work with the school. And this has happened time and time again that in this country. That is difficult, though, isn't it, Janet? Well, it's all very well taking your children out and you can to do that. I am the only way I do feel I'm in a The only position. way that our educational system will improve is if teachers are paid more, teachers are supported more, parents get more involved in education, <laughs> parents turn up at parent-teacher meetings, 
parents stop moaning about the school not being good enough and parents working 100% to bring I that totally school up. I totally agree with you. Not but taking I cannot, their kids out I and have... sticking them in a bedroom at home. No, and, no, no, and... no. That's not how home education works. I don't stick my children but in a bedroom. Patrick, and can, not... I, can I ask but... you, because that is interesting, <clears throat> I, I'm completely new to this, the homeschooling thing, and actually you can do it much easier than I thought was you can, and can just take your child out of school and decide to do it at home. I didn't think it was as easy as that. So what is the day? What is the school day? For, you know, what is um, the breakdown of how depends. you do it? It's not rigid. It, and loads of people do it differently. It's not a one... Mm. Fit, you know, you don't follow a regime the same... Who, who does yours, for, for example? Who so does the teaching? me, my mum, and we have a tutor. We all share it between yeah. us. There are certain things I couldn't teach my children... According to a curriculum. I want them. We do follow the curriculum, because, yeah. I, like you said, when at any point, if my children want to get back into the school system, yeah. I want them to They're have the, the level. The, I, I the, wonder, actually, when your child is going, say, at the age of 11 or 12, how difficult will that be, having been homeschooled, to actually suddenly join a throng of maybe 500 or 800 children but at what, one what school? Does, do you think that'll be difficult? What does make people feel that it's so... I mean, you're talking about child, child resilience, change. but then you're saying, oh, don't put them back but, into the school, cos it could be scary. But there wasn't a great thing about school was you had teachers you hated. Your kids have only got a tutor, you... Trust me. ..and your mum. They can still yeah, hate that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, one of the great things about going to school was forming gangs and saying, oh, that teacher's horrible, and you had all your little likes and dislikes. And, you know, I read my old school reports, and, my goodness, I hated some of those teachers. But out of that experience... I did get become, a, I believe, a more rounded person. And the idea of just going to museums with my mum and dad or museums with a group of people or art galleries, it wasn't like... It was better that, to sit well, in a I classroom. Can I, can I say on your behalf, having met her boys, they are incredibly well-rounded, intelligent, wonderful, great personality little children. children. <laughs> but they really, really are. <laughs> no, because you're, you're not going to say that, but I can. Um, do you like... Um, <laughs> Different names, or do you like traditional names? Now, it's really funny because Zachary, I knew I really wanted like a Bible Hebrew name for Zachary. Mm -hmm. With Leighton, I, I don't know if I just did. You go off on the underground station? At yeah. She named her baby after a. Um, <laughs> cleaning product. No, but, you know, it just was one of them things where you start looking through those lists of, like, baby yeah, names yeah. for boys, baby names what for about, girls. What about Joe? Will he have a say in it at all? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what side of the bed do you sleep on? Now, Stacey, you have shocked us all. To the uh, core. To, uh, to the core. I mean, frankly, I don't know how that happened, because, um, <laughs> you know, how can you not have a side? I can't believe this is a thing. I'm genuinely... I just can't believe how shocked everybody was this morning when I said, what do you mean you've got a side? Don't just get in. <laughs> <laughs> I just get in and I find myself wherever I end up. <laughs> OK, I can understand how that happened. 36% <laughs> of you admit that you don't. Ooh. You don't shower every don't day. You? And I did think, doing? OK, so with those... Bearing those statistics in mind, that means at least one of us on this panel <laughs> must be a soap dodger. Hands up. Come on, soap dodger. Up. Half soap <laughs> dodger. I am, I am. Yes. I'm, I've, all, <laughs> I've always thought, as long as you wash your important bits, it's OK. You know, like, you can have a quick wash. I don't have to have... A, I, sometimes I don't have time for a 15-minute shower. And also, I don't think it's that good for your hair and skin and stuff to be yeah. in the hard one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 I support you on... <laughs> you smacking, yeah, though, when you say exactly it too more smacking, what, are we talking about... You know, don't. That's. I mean, I have never done that to my child. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even like to do that to my child because if 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 you say something now, I don't like. <laughs> and I go like that. Oh my God. You don't like it. You don't like it because it keeps you quiet. But... <laughs> so I don't believe in. T I don't believe in any kind of. Because I wouldn't do that to somebody of the you same see, my, size. My, as me. I, so I wasn't smacked and I don't smack, but my problem with smacking law is where, where is the line drawn? Yeah. So, for me, people who are going to be abu physically abusive to their children, they're going to do that whether there's a smack an anti-smacking law or not because it's about their loss of control, it's about their anger issues. Well, I would say all smacking is just, physically abusive. It just drives so, really? it underground yes. and yeah. they'll be doing it behind their own closed doors. Because I think, actually, in this day and age now, society is a law in itself. Mm. If we saw somebody in the supermarket or wherever, you know, where they're really bashing a kid, I'd say something. 
And I think society now... So I, th I worry about Jane, laws, because where does it come in? If you see somebody does... Sorry, Stace. <laughs> if somebody does that <laughs> in the I supermarket and smacking is against the law, does that mean that you've just broken the law?